Open access benefits you because it can increase your visibility. You can also get more funding. Increasingly, research funders are requiring your research to be publicly accessible, and by making your work openly accessible, you can benefit from being ahead of the game and being able to demonstrate wider impact with your research. Additionally, if you're a full-time faculty member and are interested in publishing in an open access journal, Texas Women's University has an open access publishing fund. Please view bit.ly slash TWOA fund for more information. You can reduce your publishing costs as well and publish where you want. You can still be an open researcher and maintain your current publishing practices if desired. Now, there are still concerns about open access journals, even for those that see the great benefits that open access offers, such as concerns over article processing charges or impact factor. Article processing charges, also known as APCs, are a different model of funding publication costs, and within science, a $3,000 APC is not uncommon. However, the majority of journals do not charge an APC. The other primary concern is with impact factor. Many tenure-track researchers or students that want to gain a tenure-track position fear that they will not gain a promotion or a job if they aren't publishing in high-impact factor journals. If this is a concern for you, you can still participate as an open researcher. If you're concerned that an open access journal does not have an impact factor, it is likely simply because it is a new journal and impact factor takes years to count. Let's go over a few open access myths that may help you with these concerns. The first is that publishing open access is the only open access. This isn't true. You can do open access in two ways, either by publishing in open access journals or archiving your research. Publishing open access is sometimes called gold open access, and archiving is called green open access. Archiving your research allows you to be an open researcher while maintaining your current publishing practices, which can help you if you need to meet expectations to publish or there are not yet open access journals in your research area. The second myth is that you're paying to publish. Open access is not vanity publishing. Open access is simply a different funding model. Publishing costs, whether money or in volunteer time, their article processing charge business model shifts the cost from reader to the author or research funder. Rather than subscriptions that only give access to subscribers, open access gives access to all. If you need help covering the cost of an APC fee, you may be able to write it into a grant or get funding from the TWU Open Access Publishing Fund. If you're a full-time faculty member, you qualify for this funding. Unfortunately, at the present time, TWU students do not qualify for the Open Access Publishing Fund. But if you have co-authored with a faculty member, then you do qualify. Let me know if you have any questions regarding the Open Access Publishing Fund. The third myth is that all open access journals charge fees. This isn't true either. According to the Directory of Open Access Journals, over 60% of open access journals listed in their directory do not have an APC. And there are even new open access models developing. Launched in 2015, the Open Library Humanities is a new humanities publishing platform that does not charge subscription or any author-facing fees. The platform is instead funded by institution and library memberships. If you're a humanities researcher, I highly suggest that you check out the Open Library of Humanities at openlibhumes.org. The fourth myth is that open access journals are low in quality. Open access journals have the same standards of peer review, copyright, quality, prestige, and research impact. Unfortunately, there are some journals that are scams that give open access a bad reputation. If you are unsure if a journal is legitimate, verify it or contact me for help doing so. To find a suitable open access journal, you can browse the Directory of Open Access Journals at doaj.org or use the Cofactor Journal Selector tool. Mentors, colleagues, and librarians can also be a great resource for finding a suitable open access journal. If you decide that publishing open access is not right for you, or you've already published your research, you can go green by archiving your research. There are many great repositories, but the first two I'd recommend in general is TWU's Institutional Repository, the Pioneer Open Access Repository, and Figshare.com. Figshare can be a fantastic repository for graduate students, and you can include papers, dissertations, posters, data sets, and videos in Figshare. 